Hi guys, I am the algorithm and I am going to share with you my technique of solving DSA problems. I am an expert in code forces, a 5 star in code shift and a guardian on lead code. My method has brought me so far and I am pretty sure it's going to help you in your DSA journey. I am going to show you my method by solving today's GFG POTD. The first part of the method is to read the question thoroughly and understand every word of it. Today's question is longest substring of k uniques. You are given a string s consisting only lowercase alphabets and an integer k. Your task is to find the length of the longest substring that contains exactly k distinct characters. If no such string exists, return minus 1. Once you understand the question, the next step is to look at the constraints. The constraints are the size of the string could be between 1 to 10 to the power of 5 and k could be from 1 to 26. Seeing the constraints, we can directly rule out the brute force solution of using two for loops and we are sure that the solution that we have to give should have a complexity of big O of n log n or big O of n. Now log n components can only come in cases we use something like segmentary, binary search or a BST, which I don't think can be used here. So the solution should have a complexity of O of n. By now, you might have guessed, we are going to use two pointers or sliding window to solve this question. We have to use a map to store frequency of elements between the left and the right pointers and the map's size will tell us the number of unique elements we have between these two pointers. Let's start writing the C++ code. I've initiated my answer as minus one and I've got a map to store the frequency of elements between left and right pointers. I've initiated my left and right pointers to zero and I'm moving my right pointer towards right and at each step I'm adding the element's frequency in my map. Now I'm also checking if my map size becomes greater than, greater than k. In that case, I am uh, moving my left pointer towards right and decreasing the frequency of that element. And if that frequency becomes zero, I'm deleting the key from that map. Now I'm also checking if the map, if the size of the map is equals to k. In that case, I'm maximizing my answer. And at the end of it, I'm returning my answer.